a little bit about the uh, West York program. I mean, you've been part of it now for a little while, and year in and year out, you guys are consistently a competitive team. Uh, what does it take, in, both in, during the season and in the off season? Um, well, you know, we seem to have a strong program. I mean, what is it, three years straight now we won the division, so um, to take what it takes, I don't know, it takes obviously the athletes, the, the players, everything, but also you need to have a committed team where everybody is, you know, putting in their part. You, you can't have people skipping, you know, we, I know we lift throughout the winter, spring, we do morning um, uh, agility training throughout the spring, and then we also have our summer running and uh, more endurance lifting, I guess you could call it, during the summer. And obviously it takes all those things, takes, it's, you know, that's what it comes down to, I mean, but anybody can do that, it takes commitment though, so you have to have everybody there, you can't have people missing, and when someone misses, you know, they, they need to be jumped on, you can't just have, like, it, there can't be no punishment, like, everybody has to be responsible for everything that they do, and, and that's what forms together a good team. What's it like with the new quarterback this year? You caught passes from Alex last year. Now you're catching them from Caden. Uh, what's, what's that like this year? Uh, I think it all just comes down to working with your quarterback. It doesn't, I mean, who he is doesn't really make a difference to me. It just takes time. you you got to get down your timing, get down what you do, what passes he likes to throw, what passes you like to run, and that's how it works. Like, you can't, it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, they're both very gifted players, and they deserve all the credit that they get. So it just comes down to the comfort level and practicing. As one of the seniors on the team this year, what are the goals for this team? Um, district championship, state championship. That's what it's always been. It'll never be anything different. And nothing less. Division's an average goal for us. I mean, we want to get that, obviously, but we expect to get that. And that's, I think, a little different. People love when they win the division, but, I mean, we think that's average. We think that's what we're expected to do, and then we expect more. So division is definitely um, what we expect. District is what we set our goals for and hopefully a state title. Now you haven't been able to play Dover the last couple of years because of the schedule. Dover's back on the schedule. What does the West York Dover rivalry mean to you? Um, honestly, it means nothing to me because I don't feed into rivalries. I just come out to play my hardest every game, so it means nothing to me. So one game is your focus is just on the game that week and not the game last week or the game the yeah, following my, week. My then. focus is to play the best I can, catch every ball that's thrown my way, and do my job. That's what it comes down to. What do you see as far as long-term goals? You hope to play college football somewhere next year? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, with my size, I doubt I can really play anywhere. But so I'm just kind of making the best of my high school career. Okay. What's um, looking back? Have you have you had your greatest thrill here at West York? Do you think that's still ahead for you? Um, I am not sure. Mm -hmm. I, it, that depends what's to come. I can't predict the future, so I guess we'll have to see.